The Wildcat Hills in the Nebraska Panhandle is one of the most unique areas of the state and the country, but it's also home to one of the state's most elusive creatures, the mountain lion. I met with Todd Nordine of the Nebraska Game and Parks Commission. He talked about the current state of the mountain lion population in the state. And they've started to grow in population and we put more work into trying to get population estimates and numbers on them and now we have uh, established populations in the Pine Ridge and the northern Nebraska Panhandle and we're seeing those uh, expand out to other areas like the Wildcat Hills here and other parts that are like the Niobrara River Valley near Valentine. Current exact population numbers are tough to estimate with lions frequently moving to new areas. According to Nordine, with the breeding pattern mountain lions follow, plus the abundance of males in the state, Nebraska has seen good breeding numbers. Mountain lions can breed any time of year, you know, and once they cycle in, you know, there's plenty of males out there that they get connected with, and, and so they can uh, have those uh, kittens just about any time of year, and they usually have two to five, and yeah, we got reproduction going on uh, within those established populations. Game and Parks does year-round research to gather information on population and whereabouts of Nebraska's lions. One method is trapping and tranquilizing lions in the winter before releasing them with a neck collar or a GPS being able to track them using satellite. Another method is by the use of canines. That's one big way that we do it, but then we also have a scat, what we call the scat dog survey, mm -hmm. you know, the lion survey, where we actually have a trained dog and personnel come and help us collect the lion scat in the hills, and we can collect DNA evidence from that as well, just like we do from the captures that we have. According to Nordine, western Nebraska's landscape is just about perfect for mountain lions. Well, super habitat. You know, you look at what we have out here in western Nebraska, you know, the escarpments, the trees, the bluffs, you know, the river valleys nearby too. You know, it's just perfect and ideal habitat for mountain lions. Today's Nebraska mountain lion population is now not limited to just the panhandle. Sightings and trail cam photos are regularly collected by those in the central and eastern parts of the state, even near some of Nebraska's biggest cities. Mountain lions have large territories, meaning they roam for miles, but Nordine says the expansions are more than just territory. You know, the young of the year or two years, you know, they do get forced out, you know, so a lot of times it's just young dispersing males in particular that will move out looking for a new home, new territories, and that's primarily what we see with some of these expansions and movements across the state. In the Wildcat Hills, Jake Bartecki, News Channel, Nebraska.